Okay. This is our 2007 Hummer H3. Uh, this truck was built with a 3.7 liter I-5 engine and uh, the motor failed and we have replaced it with a 5.3 liter out of a 2008 Chevy Tahoe. Uh, we swapped in the engine already. Uh, the exhaust is connected. We've uh, built a custom one-off intake for it. Uh, the intake is using a Gen 3 mass airflow sensor in, with a Gen 4 engine in a Gen 4 home. And uh, right now we're working on electrical. We have the harness from the Tahoe with the controller for the engine and the transmission controller for the Tahoe in the Hummer. But we also have the controller for the I-5 motor in the Hummer. The goal is to not have to require any dealer level programming and to work it so that we only have to make changes with HP tuners, which gives us the resolution to read and write in ECM and in TCM, but not body controllers or instrument clusters. And this matters a lot this is a really big thing on these GM vehicles because all the various different modules all store the VIN numbers inside of them and they all have their own codes to communicate with each other and they have to be set up to each other. Like when you're doing these conversions on a GM vehicle, it really matters that you pick ECUs and transmission controllers and ABS modules and everything else that were actually in a vehicle that was built that way. This way, at the end of the day, you can go and have it all programmed and they can use a VIN number for a vehicle that was really used and all the controllers can be programmed to this and everything can live and work in this way. Um, but again, you need uh, a dealer level access. You gotta have like a tech to win or something like that. And you need like a tech line and stuff so that you can start uh, playing here and, and I don't have that resolution. I'm just uh, gonna use HP tuners and play with, uh, play with uh, what's in, in the transmission controller and the engine controller, and I will uh, I will license both VINs, so I'll first tune all the codes and everything out of the first controller that's still talking to the body, so it's not storing codes for uh, every single thing under the sun and bringing up the check engine light, and then uh, I will tune the Tahoe ECU to drive the engine, but work as a standalone, so it's not communicating to anything else in the vehicle. And I anticipate on this side of everything that I will likely land with two data link connectors and my standalone ECM TCM from the Tahoe will stay standalone because they cannot communicate with the other modules until they have programming. But honestly, I don't even think there is a specific application that uses the other modules from the Hummer H3 with the Tahoe ECU and TCM. So no matter what you did, you would still have to be buying another ECM and TCM. And even if you buy the correct harness for the later years Hummer, you still have to repin one of the big connectors down at the ECM. So no matter what you do with the Hummer H3 with doing this conversion, there's no way around extensive and intensive wiring. That, that is just a part of it. And we all do that in different ways. I am choosing to express myself electrically and then going down this path with it. Uh, this right here in front of me is the complete and assembled engine harness out of the I-5 motor off the Atlas 5-cylinder. Um, I'm going to strip uh, injectors, pigtails, and all the pigtails that went to the engine that I don't need. And uh, I think I need to keep the RPM, the, the crank sensor, and I'll wire like the crank sense wire to the crank sense wire for the LY5 motor or controller just so... Uh, the factory lottery controller can see RPM and send that data to the instrument cluster. And there's a couple other things like that, like the uh, AC input and output we have to uh, resolve. There, there, there's a couple of uh, things along the way that we'll work through. But uh, for now, we just need to rip this harness apart, remove everything from it that we know we're not going to use, and bring about a good starting point to, uh, to make this happen. The whole truck is completely together. Everything else is done. Uh, I think we still got to put oil in the motor, but that's it, man. The uh, everything is set up and ready to go. We just got to get this harness and get it wired up, and get a calibration on them, and uh, and this thing will be up and running. Second ship performance. We're killing it.